Hi, it's teardown time of another super cheap EV charger here. And uh, we've got a new energy charger. I think it goes under multiple brands. And this Bobby Dazzler cost me 190 Aussie bucks. Uh, not sure how much it is in Yankee land, but uh, yeah, it's got uh, the Aussie 32 amp connector on it. You've seen that in my uh, install for my uh, Zappy charger. So I wanted a portable seven kilowatt charger. And I've, I'll link it in down below and up here if you haven't seen it. I've done a uh, teardown air review video, a super cheap uh, 15 amp jobby, uh, so 3.3 kilowatts or thereabouts, uh, which I do actually uh, use, but I wanted a seven kilowatt one, and this was the cheapest thing I could find. So we're gonna tear it down and we're gonna give it a test and see what it's like. It's got the standard uh, type two connector on there. There you go, no worries, not that Tesla rubbish. And the first thing I note is that the cable here claims to have two uh, six square millimeters plus a uh, 0.75 square millimeter uh, earth in there, uh, plus your control uh, lines as well, but it doesn't have any certification or rating on it. So uh, is it even like real copper or is it, you know, a lot of companies will uh, replace uh, copper with aluminium these days and they'll have like copper coated aluminium. So sort of like fake copper cables, I don't know. So, so let's tear this thing apart and see what's in it. Now, I've also got a video which I'll link in, uh, and you have to watch that. If you don't know what an EV charger is, I'm using quote marks here, because this is not a charger, it's what, what is called an EVSE, or an electric vehicle service equipment. Um, all it is, is basically just a smart little controller in here, they've got a nice little graphic uh, screen here, and what it basically does is uh, sends out a uh, PWM control signal on the uh, control line here to the car, to tell the car how much uh, power is available Available from in this particular case the 32 amp connector on here and you can the big a button here allows you to select different charge current so yeah, it might be 10 amps you know 16 amps 32 amps uh, that sort of thing we'll find out when we actually uh, power it up but yeah the, basically the only thing inside this is a, a couple of relays which uh, connect the mains directly through to the uh, car because the car is the thing that actually contains the proper charger for the battery inside the car. So this thing is not a charger. It's just a smart little doodad box that just sends out a PWM signal and it yet has some earth protection and uh, stuff like that. But it's basically just a smart relay box, really. There you go, claims uh, IP66 rating, so you can kind of like use it outdoors in the rain, um, up to uh, 32 amps uh, max. And um, yeah, claims to meet some standard, but uh, let's take it apart. Get the rubber feet off here and we've got four machine inserts here, so that's nice. Now that's self-tapping rubbish, so that's good. And bingo, there we go. Is that just gonna, just gonna pop off? The grommet's gonna stick? I don't know what they are. Yeah, there we go, the front comes off, and yeah, it's um quite similar to the one we had before. Not as good, not as sexy as the previous one I looked at, I don't think, from memory. Um, that looks pretty basic, doesn't it? It's not much in there at all. So they got the control board up the top. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, uh, yeah, the LCD is uh, soldered down to uh, the flat flex ribbon just down there. And that's a STC micro, is it? There you go. You can read that at home. I'm not gonna bother. But this is what it's all about. Anyway, I like the uh, clamping on the input and the output. That's really nice. No worries there whatsoever. Is there a shake proof washer there on those? Anyway, I like the uh, crimping. It's not too shabby at all. Oh no, that thing up the top here, that was not a, I, I thought that was a, uh, like a little micro switch. It's not, it's actually a, uh, like a cable thing. They've got the same thing down here and it's a little cable clamp like that. Neat. Anyway, um, basically, yeah, so we've got a common uh, neutral here, and they're just um, relaying the uh, the positive there. I uh, can't remember if the previous one did that. I'm going to have to check my tear down. Yeah, I put up a photo of the uh, other cheap one that I had, and it had uh, two relays in there, uh, one for the active and one for the neutral, and it had a core balance relay um, as well. But uh, if we look over here, um, there's no core balance relay, so they haven't got the active and the neutral uh, going through the relay. They're only uh, measuring uh, the current there on uh, the uh, neutral side 
side of that. So, so yeah, I think they're, that's how they're getting the cost down on this thing. They're skimping a bit. Anyway, some nice isolation slots down in there. So they're doing all the requisite stuff. It's just a simpler uh, design. So I'm not sure about the various standards, um, but it looks like we've got a a cover over our relay. What's going on? What's going on there? Yeah, that's kind of odd. It's almost as if it like it has a like protective case around it. So I'm not going to try and get that off because it looks like I'm going to break it. Anyway, that's an 80 amp uh, uh, radian. I don't know that brand. It's not a uh, Hongfa, which is uh, traditionally uh, used in, you know, a lot of um, EV uh, charger designs uh, like this. So... Yeah. And there's our power supply there. That's just our isolated uh, converter there for powering the uh, electronics. So it comes out here and you can see the ground going all the way around like that to the uh, low side, basically. And then we have a high voltage series string of SMD resistors there. They put them in series to get the uh, high voltage, of course, because they're only like you know, 150, 200 volts max uh, rated each. So you whack them in series and that's how you get a cheap high voltage resistor. I'm going to... Uh, try and peel back some insulation on there and uh, see what's what. All right, does that look like copper to you? That looks like copper to me, so... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna call copper there. Anyway, it's um, how many hundreds of strands in there? Because it is uh, very flexible. Now for the 32 amp uh, standard, it should have a 220 ohm resistor approximately on the uh, proximity pilot pin and earth here. So let's measure that. Yep, there you go, no worries. And this thing should contain an energy monitoring chip. Uh, I doubt they're all doing it in the micro, so that's our micro. So I'm guessing that's the chip down there. Let's see if we can get in there. There you go, there's our number down there. I'll put the data sheet up, but that should be an energy monitoring chip. So basically, this is an absolute bare bones, penny pinched uh, design, and I'm not sure if it's even compliant with various standards. I mean, it's legally sold, presumably legally sold here in Australia, because uh, I bought it from an Australian uh, supplier. But yeah, it's only got the single relay, whereas I thought you were supposed to dual relay um, isolate them. Not, uh, not going to go into the various uh, standards, and this might be different in every country, in every situation, and everything else. But um, yeah, basically, I only got the single active uh, switch in here. They're not isolating uh, the negative. So if you have this plugged into your car, it's it's permanently actually connected through. It's got no earth leak, internal earth leakage um, protection at all. So you're relying on the external circuit to do that. Once again, not even sure if that's actually technically uh, compliant at all. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's gonna work. It's gonna do your basic thing. I'm gonna test it um, on the EV and I'm sure it will get you out of trouble in a pinch, but I've got to give this one a thumbs down and I guess it's, well, you get what you pay for. Um, so yeah, it'll get you out of trouble in a pinch, but it's probably not something that you want to use um, on a permanent basis, I don't think. So yeah, that's a fail, unlike that uh, previous MITRE uh, brand one which we looked at. So I'm not sure if this is common in these uh, 32 amp jobbies at all, but yeah, so I'd have to get another brand to do a comparison. So yeah, nah, is the official verdict on this one. Um, it's gonna work. I'll do a quick uh, test at home and plug it in uh, to the EV. And yeah, it'll get you out of trouble, but yeah, no. Nah. You definitely get what you pay for in these uh, EV chargers. Uh, catch you next time. All right, does it actually uh, power my Ionic EV? Well, let's try it. Um, I've got it uh, installed on my 32 amp outlet here. And well, here we go. Let's plug her in and see. And yeah, there you go, uh, 32 amps. Yep, there we go, 31.6 amps, 7.6 kilowatts. Um, it works. It's very night ridery. Oh.